update like it was supposed to. Hey guys, what's going on? Happy Saturday. Oh shit, I probably should actually start the game, you know. <laughs> that might help. That's the reason we're here. Completely brain farted on that. Let's see, I don't know why. Hmm. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. What up, boys? Brain farts. Yes. Nice and juicy. <laughs> What's up, guys? What's up, Livid? How you guys doing? It's Saturday. We're going to be continuing some Fallout New Vegas today. Uh, we're going to be starting the DLCs starting with uh, honest hearts but we've got a little bit of we got some things that we need to do first before we uh before we start that we we need to level up one more time at least oh nice brecky fast doing great awesome all right so we've got a couple of couple of companions that we really haven't had with us yet. Um, one of them is this guy, Dr. Gannon. Evening. You get him from the followers of the Teams apocalypse. This is the old Mormon fort gone. in Vegas. Um, so we're going to do his personal quest. We've got Raul. I haven't triggered Raul's personal quest yet. If you were here the night that we went to Black Mountain, Raul is the ghoul that was essentially imprisoned by Tabitha there. So they're both available to us, but I did get, I did, I did get, <laughs> I did get his to trigger arcades to trigger. So we're going to do that. We've got a vault to go through. We got vault 19. We haven't been into yet. And there's uh there's one side mission that I picked up. I was going through some of the other locations that I had found that I had not been in yet. And I picked one up while I was in there. Where did that go? There it is. Aerotech Office Park. So there was one in there. So we'll get that one. Uh, where is it? Uh, the Coyotes. There you go. Travel to West Side and speak with St. James about missing NCR refugees. So, but first, first we're going to do for old Lang Syne. I know, I, I know they're all like that for some reason. That guy over there by the pole is doing it too. I mean, we're not running the game at, at as high a frame rate as we had been because my, it looks like the Legion that my monitor, uh, my monitor, I had to ship it back for repair because it's got a, a column of bad pixels on it so I haven't used the old one and it can't do a refresh rate that's quite as high can we talk to him again what's up what's up doc yeah oh see you around all right so let's let's look at what the quest log says for him so we, he wants <sighs> oh wow I wonder I wonder if this is going to give us another ending. Essentially, the remnants that you see referenced to those people that you wanted to get to this reunion, these are all, I think that he said that they were all um, leftover members or descendants of members of the Enclave. So in Fallout lore, the Enclave refers to the government prior to the war nuclear war so those are the people that are left over from that and descendants of all that so so yeah when we go to them when we go to the map here a lot of places we got to go to talk to these folks <laughs> cannibal johnson's game oh lovely well i'm not let's go to novak first because they love me there 
We sent Boone back. We sent Boone back home temporarily. We can pick it back up later at any time. He, you can either send him back to Novak or you can send him to the Lucky 38. The problem with sending him back to the Lucky 38 is he doesn't like that. And he will leave. All right, so who are we talking to here? Oh, Daisy Whitman. I think she's the old lady in the house back there. Look who's here. It's me. Oh, no, that's not who I thought it was. The hell is Daisy Whitman? Sure. Surely it's not that lady that I killed. <laughs> that would not be good. Not Jeannie Crawford. So there's a marker. It might be in front of this door. No? Manny? Oh, wait a minute. That's... Oh, I know who it is. Yeah, it's her. The old uh, pilot lady that tower on the strip the one you can st your travel's been going all right yes ma'am yes this dude behind me asked me to find you i'm reuniting the remnants and they'll need your piloting skills told you everything about us did he well it's been a while since i've had my hands on the controls of a vertebrate there's a chance I could crash us in the middle of Lake Mead. That place seems to attract aircraft for some reason. But if I get one more chance to fly, count me in. I'll be there. My part of the past phrase is deer. Deer. How did you like flying vertebrates for the Enclave? I was never happier than when I was in the cockpit. I was able to go just about anywhere and everywhere, limited only by the fuel I could carry. There were more than a few missions where I took the scenic route home just so I could stay in the air. Caught hell for it every time, but worth it. Some of the things we did were questionable, <clears throat> I know. That's just how it was back then. Figure I've done enough good to make up for any sins, anyhow. Yeah, we can, we can fill you guys in on some of this and might not have seen it. Vertebrate pilot. 71 missions and only lost one chopper. Rotor malfunction over Klamath. Hard landing, but I walked away. Okay, that's it. There was more to it than that the first time, I guess. Watch your six out Watch there. Watch your six. Since my mother died, Daisy's been the only woman in my life. She was the only other woman close to my father, too. She flew him out on over a dozen missions, including his last. I've always been close to Daisy. There have been some good men along the way, but lovers make poor confidants. Daisy never had children of her own, so she was always there to listen. Being in the Enclave didn't mean much to her. She just loved to fly. It broke her heart to be grounded. Yeah, it was an important part of her life. Why shouldn't she enjoy it? As screwed up as it sounds, at least she was a part of something. Granted, it was something admittedly pretty bad but it was something if you spent the first half of your life flying enclave troopers in a vertebrate i suppose picking over pre-war rocket parts doesn't quite compare okay okay 
Uh, let's go over to um, Jacobstown. Go back to see Marcus and Lily. Marcus! Something on your mind? No. See you. <laughs> she still thinks we're her grandchildren. <laughs> you should have heard Leo, sweetie. He laughed and laughed when that old man in the box exploded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she can be a companion, by the way. Soon, dear. I don't know that I've ever taken her other than for the quest with the um the stealth boys and the nightkin and the schizophrenia and all that other crap. Yeah, like that guy. That guy's an asshole. Mark my words, won't be long before the Legion and NCR butt heads over Hoover Dam. We already did it. <laughs> Is there something else I can do for you? Mr. Gannon has asked me to gather all the former members of the Enclave in the Mojave. I'm intrigued, so I'll go to this reunion. I'll be handing things over to Calamity, so talk to her if anything comes up. Yes, oh, sir. You'll need my word from the past phrase to get into the bunker. Friends. Don't forget it. Dear friends. Yes, yes. Let's kick some ass. Doc Henry always was a hard one to figure out. It didn't seem to matter whether he was working with humans or dogs. He had an equal lack of affection for both. A regular Diogenes. I'm not sure what the man was after. Knowledge is power, but to what end for Henry, I have no idea. The problem was what mattered to him, not its practical impact. He simply solved riddles because they existed. Oh, uh, yes, work was what mattered to him. Not everyone dreams of being a revolutionary, I suppose. Maybe we can't all change the world. Maybe it's enough just to do good for the short time that we're here. No one's going to sing Doc Henry's praises when he's gone. But he's probably saved more lives than I ever will. What? All right, who's next? Who's next? We'll save the cave for last. Oh, Miguel's Pawn Shop. Yeah, that's, um, I think, that, isn't that, <clears throat> isn't, I think that's, <laughs> I hear reports of Legion raiding parties all over the place. Whose, um, outfit Raul is actually wearing. Extraordinarily beautiful right now. Am I talking to Miguel? Onion Moreno. Am I even in the right place? <laughs> see you, gosh. <laughs> we'll see you in five minutes, buddy. Here to do business? Until next time. Oh, it's probably the guy sitting outside at the table. Shit, it's all old people. This guy right here. Mark my words. Won't be long before the Legion and NCR butt heads over Hoover Dam. It did say Joe to Kruger, right? Yeah, Krieger. Sticking around for the attractions? Arcade asked me to find you. I'm gathering the remnants. I hope we don't have another fight at the Hoover Dam over all of this. God. Hello, Arcade. Making some new friends, are you? Why the need for a bunch of old war horses like us? You'll be the element of surprise. Swooping in on a vertebrate, guns blazing? 
Haven't done that in years, but all right. Didn't anybody ever tell you it's Miss Me? The rest of the group doesn't show up. What's up? Oh, and you'll need my part of the passphrase to get into the bunker, Navarro. All right, I'm jotting those down. Oh, we got people. We're ready to do the joint. Is it updating in in um? Let me make sure it's updating in Discord. Yeah, it is. Sweet. Uh, I'd like to know more about your former squad. I was the officer in charge, and Johnson and Moreno were my heavy hitters. Henry handled tech things, and Whitman flew the chopper. Johnson and Moreno never got along, and I had my hands full keeping those two apart some days. It was a difference in philosophy, mostly. Mercy was not part of Moreno's vocabulary. Tell me about the old days with the Enclave. I miss those days sometimes. How was your morning you know, going, Miss Big? You know? I admit that some of the folks in charge were pretty ruthless. The rest of us, though, we were just trying to civilize things. The NCR was still new, and it didn't look like they'd last all that long. Then we lost the oil rig, and shortly after that, the base at Novaro. Nobody left except us remnants. What happened to the Enclave oil rig and Navarro? The internal sabotage took down the oil rig. Never did get the full story. The NCR took out Navarro, saying we posed a threat to the region. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Judah Krieger is the glue that's kept us all together over the years, and with good reason. Anyone who can command Moreno and Johnson in the same unit without somebody getting fragged is one hell of a leader. Krieger was polite and kind, but never warm. He always did his best to make me feel welcome. In mm -hmm. I think he did it out of a sense of loyalty to my father. Loyalty means a lot to Judah. Not loyalty to the Enclave or even the ideals they fought for, but to the people who served with him. They're loyal to you, too. Sometimes I wonder how much of my father they see in me. They went through a lot together, but my family went through it, too. I'm glad they've watched out for me all these years. Maybe someday I can return the favor. Okay. All right, who's next on the list? Onion. <laughs> Onion. Oh, sorry, Orion. Sorry. Okay, so I'm guessing he's out in the field, so... I'll head over there. They love me there too. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Yeah, Kropa. All right, so be either there over here all right it's gonna be this way they went inside if i can remember where she is we'll we'll go by and visit jack in just a minute Just as a warning, my covert bandaging skills are a little rusty. Hey, it's another old fart. Come here, sir. Oh, looks like I forgot to lock the doors again. If you're with the NCR, get out. This place is mine, and I'm not leaving. Uh, what do you do around here? Do? I don't do anything. I'm retired. <laughs> Sounds like heaven. <laughs> so what did you do before you retired? I was a soldier. Why do you even care? I came out here to forget about the past, so quit bringing it up. That sounds like the guy that voices um, <clears throat> Bellathor in White Run and Skyrim. 
can never remember the guy's name. You have something against the NCR? Oh, like you wouldn't believe. The NCR makes a habit out of wrecking homes. I came out here to get away from them. Didn't work out so well. Next thing I know, I'm squatting in their land. Never mind that I already been living here for years. One second, please. This gotta be who it is. Okay, Jude. Jude Chicalella. I recognize that face. I didn't know that was his name. Yeah, he was in in uh he was in twenty four. All out New Vegas. I could swear. I could swear he was sounds just like Belthor. Okay. Oh, a little of this, a little of that. Arcade and I were looking for you. We're gathering the remnants. In a while, Arcade. So, what's the point of all this? Can't find any younger mercenaries? Hold on a second. Okay, it's Stephen Russell does Belthor. Okay, enough of that. The advanced level of tech would be useful in in your advanced level of tech would be useful in settling things between the NCR and the Legion. There isn't any anyone else around with your equipment and expertise. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I hate it when the damn controller buttons double register twice when I only hit it once. I wouldn't mind cutting down a few platoons of NCR troopers with my old Gatling laser. What? I want to help the Legion defeat the NCR. Whoa, you want my job? Wait a minute. Oh, I'll come. But depending on the plan, I might not be staying. Keep that in mind. Arcade might have mentioned there's a passphrase needed to get into the bunker. Right. My part is remember. Remember. Spock. That's what he did with uh, Kirk when he was about to die. Did the old mind meld thing and said, remember. What did you do when you were with the Enclave? Heavy weapons trooper. Nothing better than hosing down a target with an excess of bullets and laser fire. <laughs> By the time I got through with things, not much was left standing. Any morons who didn't run when they saw me coming got what they deserved. Back then, it was war. If we'd been on the winning side, I'd be called a hero. <laughs> okay. Moreno took the fall of the Enclave hard. He never questioned his orders, never questioned the legitimacy of what the Enclave was doing. To him, it was all one unbroken chain, from Washington to Richardson. When we left Navarro, I remember looking up at Moreno. He said, kiss America goodbye, boys. When we left the Enclave behind, the love in him burned itself out. Now there's just a bitter old man left. Don't be too hard on him, it's part of who he is. I suppose you're right. When you're part of something for that long, maybe it's impossible to let go without losing part of yourself. Moreno may be a stubborn son of a bitch, but at least he's loyal. Crap. <laughs> I have a feeling. We may have to go back to the dam again. To the damn dam. All right, where's, where's Jack? Let me see if I can find Jack. Sharecroppers, pump station. Followers outpost. Yeah. Is that it? I think this is a, this is her. 
Welcome back. Are you thirsty for some fresh, clean water? Recognize the voice? <laughs> Shoot. Who sells equipment around here? The Crimson Caravan Company is the big dog around here. Keep following the road north, and you'll eventually come across their camp. No, I can find you get a lot of customers. The caravans or NCR patrols usually don't stop, but we usually get people like yourself wandering on by a few times a week. I can find a doctor. <laughs> no, where I can find a doctor, and I got one standing right behind me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they've got a doc over at Camp McCarran, but I don't know if he'll treat just anybody. All right. Until next time. Yeah, the the voice actor for Lupe here is Courtney Taylor. Who is also the voice actress for Jack and Mass Effect. Oh, hey, it's more Legion, guys. Damn assassin squad. Oh, no, she's dead. <laughs> oh, Lupe. No. Oh, no. <laughs> we killed her. Oh man, the merchant is dead too. Ooh, a sniper rifle. Can I fix mine with that? Nope. It said zero. <laughs> so much for that. So yeah, we got an LMG. 838 rounds. I think we've got one back home at Good Spring. After these we'll be right back. All right, let's put that in there. Put that in there too. Pineapples all the way. Fish, <laughs> fish do not belong on pizza, folks. <clears throat> That's almost a must have <sighs> topping for me anymore. My, uh, my tastes in pizza has changed quite a bit over the years. It used to be pepperoni. But I'm to the point now where I can't have pepperoni that much because it just tears up my stomach because of all the grease. So now my go-to is pretty much ham, onions, green peppers, and, and aforementioned pineapple. Oh, that's one way to get all the stuff. 
off of the uh oh, the merchant let him get killed oh no i am not really liking where this appears to be going Ask Cannibal Johnson to come to the Remnants reunion. I gotta go to a cave for that. I don't think I've been in here before. Okay, where is the entrance? Normally it dumps you right there. Ah, here we go. Oh, okay. I'm not going to have to fight anything to get Tim. Let's look around first. Enclave Footlocker. Yeah, but he's going to be, he's going to be watching me though. down there talk to him first what's up yo geezer <laughs> well it's about damn time what took you oh 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 i've been in the reaper's shadow for a long time now reapers and i jack finally showed up to collect mass effect crossover He's just mocking me now Arcade asked me to gather all the remaining members of the Enclave in the Mojave. Thought I recognized the fellow with you. So what's this reunion all about then? He thinks your experience and technology will help resolve the conflict in this region. Well, now there's an interesting idea. Do a bit of good before we're all dead and forgotten. You can count me in. Oh, and in case Arcade forgot to mention it, there's a five-word passphrase needed to get into the bunker. My word is... Old. Appropriate, huh? Dear friends, remember if I had to Old pick Navarro? Who didn't belong in the Enclave? It would definitely be Johnson. He hated what the Enclave was doing. Day to day, week to week, he would question orders, subvert mission objectives, do anything he could to serve without serving. It's amazing he was never court martialed. He always had good things to say about my father. Said I was like him in a lot of ways. I wish I knew. Sure, your father would be proud of you. Why worry about it? You don't have to be your father. Would that's true too? Be your own man. I grew up without him. I'll always feel like something is missing from my life. But you're right. It's not like I'm the only kid in the wasteland who's grown up without a dad. Johnson always said my father was a good man. If that's the only thing about me that's like him, that's enough for me. Let's do some spelunking. Let's see what's in here. If anything. Oh, a Night Stalker. Okay. <laughs> uh, that much, huh? Well. Okay. Done. All right. Now we got to find this bunker. All right, looks like it is down that way, which is west of us. Remnants Bunker. Over by Ranger State. Ranger Station Foxtrot. talk to him first what's up what's up doc see you around activate the control panel 
Yep, dear old friends, remember Navarro. Oh, shit. <laughs> Against the Legion or the, or the NCR. Oh, man, this is probably the same. It's the same kind of thing with the boomers, except it wasn't related to one of our followers. Where they will join you in the fight. Whoa. There's your verti bird. Get to the chopper. <laughs> it's old geezer, old My geezer words. hour. Won't be long before the Legion and NCR butt heads over Hoover Dam. Okay, so who am I supposed to talk to? Talk to Arcade? What's up? See you around. to Daisy first. I'm ready to fly once we've got a plan. Talk to Judah. Judah. Judah, Judah. They say those robots on the strip are running around with different faces or something. Yep. Don't ask, because I don't know. Glad to see you made it here, all right. So, who are we going up against? I want you to help the NCR hold on to the dam. Help the Legion take over the dam. How are you going to deploy your squad? What is this place? This was a minor refueling station for vertebrates. Crap. It seemed an appropriate place to stash our equipment if we ever needed it. I'm surprised this place hasn't fallen apart. When I put it into standby mode, I expected to return to it within a few years, not decades. You still need time to think? Yes. Actually, I just need to say, I want to save. Still waiting on that decision. Yeah, help the NCR hold on to the dam. Then that's the plan. We're going to have a problem with Moreno, though. He won't like that we're helping the NCR. Speed have check! To talk to him. Talk to Marino, you're the officer here. Can't you just order him to go along with the plan? Will he be a liability? What's Marino's problem with the NCR? Day one, we didn't. It's as simple as that. The rest of us moved on while Moreno didn't. Still, I'm not convinced Moreno hates the NCR as much as he thinks he does. You still might be able to talk him out of leaving. Leaving? You're the officer here. Can't you just order him to go along with the plan? Yeah, but it's not like they're active duty anymore. I stopped being Moreno's officer a long time ago. Everyone here respects me, but they don't need to follow my orders. Not anymore. Are we? Hello. Happy Saturday. How are you doing this morning? Or, well, it could be afternoon where you are. Will he be a liability? He won't turn on us. But he's a good shot, and I'd hate to do this without him. All right, I'll talk to him. You've got only one chance at this. I know Moreno. Once he's made up his mind about something, there's no changing it. The NCR took back Nelson. Maybe they can win this war after all. I really don't want to. The hell did he go? I didn't come all the way out here just so we could save the fucking NCR. I'm out. Beats check. Ha <laughs> ha. Change your mind, pal. The remnants come in guns blazing, showing the NCR how it's done. You actually don't want that? 
I can't believe you've actually talked me into this. <laughs> Fine, I'm in. But don't expect me to hold my fire if any NCR troops get in the way. Thanks for doing this. Getting them all back together again. I'll be honest, when Moreno started going off, I didn't think we'd all be walking out of there in one piece. I still don't know how this is all going to shake out in the end, but at least the Enclave can atone a bit for all the damage it's done. You've certainly done your part. I've been wondering about Daisy and the others for so long, I still haven't figured out what I should do. I mean, I'm not like them. I was born at Navarro, and my father served with them, but I wasn't really part of the Enclave. It seems presumptuous of me to think I could join the fight, even if this is a cause worth fighting for. Because I know when fighting breaks out at the dam, all hell is going to break loose in Freeside. They're going to need every doctor they can get. What happened in what happens in Freeside won't make any difference if the Legion takes the dam, fight with them. Or if you're so sure it's going to be a bloodbath, maybe you should stay in Freeside. I'm good. How are you? Welcome back. Welcome back. It's good to see you. Okay. Um Yeah, what happens in Freeside won't make any difference if the Legion takes the damn fight with them. Good point. You've been encouraging the others to stand up and fight. Maybe I should take the same advice. After all, I also lived in Navarro. There's something I need to go do, but I'll catch up with you later. Thanks again for your help with the oh. others. It means a lot to me. Okay. Is that the end of the quest? That's all I really care about at this point. Oh, shit. <laughs> it popped up there on the screen and I didn't even... Just we have... Moreno's a stubborn son of a bitch, but he's also tougher than any of us. I'm glad you were able to talk him into staying. Since Whitman will be staying with the Vertibird, she's offered to give her old suit of power armor to you. Oh? You'll need special training to use it properly, so talk to her as soon as you get the chance. The training might take several hours, so keep that in mind. They say those robots on the strip are running around with different faces or something. Don't ask. Because don't I ask. Don't I appreciate you keeping Orion in the group. Since I won't be needing my armor, makes the cockpit a bit cramped, you should take it. It'll take a few hours to show you how to use it properly, so let's get started. You have received the specialized training needed to more effectively use power armor. Your carry weight will now be increased by 20 pounds when wearing it. Yeah, but it weighs five bazillion pounds. If the NCR ain't got to... worry about Caesar no more. Thanks, Eddie. There it is. That's what we wanted right there. Quest complete. One step closer. We need that level up. We need to get our survival up before we do. Um... Like I said, I needed to go do something. This is it. It belonged to my father. Since you convinced me to help out with the defense of Hooper Dam, I figured I'd haul it out of storage. I'm a little rusty with it, but I think I can manage. As long as you got my back, of course. I got it. Hey, hey, hey. Where the hell did he go? Do I have to go back in and get him so that he follow me again? I'd love to have him with damn power armor for crying out loud. Goodness gracious.
a doctor wearing power armor? Ooh, combat armor reinforced. I, I, I still don't know why I was listed as evil. It, it's got to be because of the brotherhood. Combat armor reinforced. Okay, so 12 pounds, 15 and 8. 14 pounds. Ooh, that's a little bit better than what I got. Okay. Ah, shit, I can't get back in there. All right. All right, so now I wonder where he is. I mean, technically, we don't need him anymore. That's really all we wanted to do with him. We could always go back and check. Uh, la, 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 la. Ah, fucking Cazadors, fuck you. <laughs> I ain't messing with no Cazadors, man. I hate them damn things. Ugh. We'll just go in the other direction. <laughs> oh, hey, there's an NCR. Is that a ranger station? Oh, that is the ranger station. Yeah. Yeah, right here. <laughs> Everybody's asleep. All right. Can we go over there now? I just want to see if he's still there. We're going to go back to Lucky 38 and get Raul now. Moving along. <clears throat> oh, one of the other things we were going to do was we were going to go down into the thorn as well. We have not been there yet. It's another area, I guess. It's underground. But I ain't that a kick in the head? I'm guessing he's probably permanently at the bunker. We're not even allowed to sell people only at Mick and Ralph's. Julie Farkas. Normally, Arcade sits at that table. He's not here, so he's, I guess he's at the bunker for now. Kenny Weathers. That's the kid from the family that I'd mentioned before I had to rescue from the Legion. Alright. I wish there was a run.
it almost makes me sad that Todd Howard's team now does Starfield in addition to Elder Scrolls and Fallout. That just means it's going to be that much longer in between getting games in each series. would love to have a new fallout <clears throat> of course i'd love to have a new elder scrolls too okay i guess <laughs> at least for the remainder of the time that we are going to be in the mojave wasteland uh raul is going to be our only humanoid Companion is the only one left. Well, we got Boone, I guess, but you do anything that's even remotely bad for the NCR and he's going to say, F you, I'm out. Here he is. Oh, it's you. Yeah. You need something repaired or something? Come along. Amy's better than staying here. Let's go. <laughs> in a presidential suite <laughs> okay Petro Chico un amigo de Poseidon Adventure Veracruz Puebla Hidalgo all right um, let's go. Let's go over. Was it 19? I think it was 19. Yeah, here it's right here. Usually there's a death claw. I think I killed it though. There's a death claw that hangs out right up at that corner there. He's been killed. Jay, what up? Good morning, sir. How goes? It goes well. We just finished up uh, Arcade Ganon's personal quest to bring the remnants into the picture for the fight from Hoover Dam. Not that we're going to be doing that again unless I, re unless I reload an old save to get the other achievements, and I'll probably just do that kind of thing offline. We got Raul with us now, and I don't remember... I don't remember what you got to do to trigger his personal stuff. Uh, over elaborate mob schemes to take over Vegas. Reminds me of the days before the war. Tell me about yourself. Sure, boss. What do you want to know? He calls me boss a lot. Who are you? <laughs> you forget about me already, boss? You sure you didn't get a blow to the head or something? My name is Raul Alfonso Tejada. Then why does your jumpsuit say Miguel? Probably because he used to be. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you something else about yourself. I'm an open book, boss. Granted, the book's in Spanish and some of the pages have fallen out, but I'm an open book. How can I best make the best use of your skills? I'm not much use besides being a portable encyclopedia, really. I guess you could use me as a pack Brahmin. But my knees aren't so good anymore. <laughs> what use are you? I don't believe that. You must have some skills. That's nice of you to say, boss. But I'm an old man. Not much use to anybody anymore. Time was. I was a pretty good shot with a pistol. I guess I'm still half decent. These old bones aren't much use in hand-to-hand -hand fighting, though. I can also do maintenance work on your stuff. I don't have the supplies for a real repair job. But I can keep your gear working longer. Lots of older people are still useful to their friends and communities. This might be what triggers it. 
Yeah, maybe you can introduce them to me, if we find them, because I've never met one. Hmm, I might have to look it up and see who they are. That's all I want. Let's see. Um, something else? I'm an open book. Where are you from? I was born just outside Mexico City. My family had a little ranch there. I'm an open... How old are you? Old enough to know better, boss. Old enough I'm to old know. enough to know better. And still too young to care. I'm an open book, boss. Petro Chico. You never heard of Petro Chico? Un amigo de Poseidon Energy. Uh, of course not. They were an oil company in Mexico back before the war. Oh, God. Who sang that song? I can see his face, a younger guy, cowboy hat. Of course, what country singer doesn't wear a cowboy hat, it seems like. I'm an open. That's all I wanted to know. Anything you say, boss. All right, Vault 19, right here. Oh my god. No, seriously? How old is this software? My goodness. I need to get my taxes done. I've got all my papers and stuff, I think. What kind of horrors? <laughs> what kind of horrors happen here? Who are you? I've got you now. Uh. Samuel Cook? came on some stuff here, didn't we? How about we get the guy with the laser gun? Come on, give me some numbers here. Murderer, you shot first. I just came in the door.
What have I done? I'm defending myself. You've gained karma. <laughs> Not sure I'm having any impact here. Boss. Wonder if I could give him the 357. He probably used that. Red sector. I'm sorry, Ro. <laughs> oh my God! This place is freaking. Goodness gracious, I'm glad I didn't come in here before now. I've actually known about this for a while. I just never went in. to a gunfight on huh? auto yeah you might want to reevaluate your life choices there buddy holy bejeebers <laughs> wow We can give Raul. We can, we can fix Raul up. We can give him all of this shit. I bet he would wear pretty much any armor that you give him. Yeah, we're going to be here for a few minutes, guys. <laughs> I got to go through all of this crap. Uh, can we give him a helmet too? Man, oh man, look at the dynamite too. All right, let's see if we can fix some of this stuff up for him. Apparel first. Uh, let's see. I never put that on, by the way. Combat armor reinforced. Metal helmets. Leather armor reinforced. Here you go, Raul. Can you take any of this stuff, buddy? I expect to be awed by your dizzy mercantile sense, boss. <laughs> there you go. that I actually gave him. I expect to be awed by your dizzy mercantile sense, boss. Sorry. I need to fix this. Here. Here. Oh, 
Okay, now I can give it to you. So I'll pick sure it up a little bit better. There you go. Starbucks, what up? Forty-one. I'm sure you'll be fair and equitable, boss. Out of me, five, ten mil. I don't know if he'll take the ten mil sub or not. I expect to be awed by your dizzy mercantile sense, boss. Someplace else, boss. Sorry. Holy bejeebers. I was not expecting any of that. But that's okay. We got XP out of it, so no complaints. Welcome, user. <laughs> personal sound effect yeah that's his announcement right he's here he's here recover the data okay maybe not is there a side quest that's let's see fake medical records paranoia must be induced through non-violent and non-chemical means in order for the experiment to be considered a success a group of technicians have been assigned to run the reactor they are currently researching methods to improve the reactor efficiently. The reactor floor is fully staffed and completely self-sustained. The only access between the vault proper and the reactor level is through the elevator hidden under the desk in this room. Currently, the password to open this passage is Hyacinth. Please change this password. Has not been informed of the research being undertaken in the lower levels. Did it not say underneath the desk? Keeping quiet, unless my creaky knees give us away. Okie dokie. <laughs> Unbelievable. Through the elevator hidden under the desk in this room. There is no elevator here. Unless it's part of the, re the recover data option there. All right, we'll leave all this other shit here. Let's go check out all the other rooms before we go any into another area. sector doctor's bag thank you yes I will take Yes. Red away, Rad X. Take it all. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Let's see what he got. Here's your winner right here. 
Lucky 13. I better heal up a little bit, huh? Get my help. I think if you do, um, is, that, is it roulette without any options on it? I think it tells you, it gives you an, a URL to the version of roulette that we use here is based off of. I think that's what I got in there. Something like that. I know it. <clears throat> I know it's in there. Yeah, there you go. That's it right there. Not a problem. My journal entry 74. I can hear noises through the intercom sometimes. Dad says he can't hear it, but I can. It's really high pitch and sometimes I can hear a boy out, but I can't make out the words. Mom says it's my imagination and that I shouldn't talk about it, that it might worry people that I've talked to some of the other kids. They say they've heard it too. Woo! Message from the overseer. Greetings, residents. We were read to inform you that there is a problem with one of the water purification filters. We assure you that we are working diligently to fix this problem. However, using the filter has been... F Until the filter has been fixed, please try to keep water usage limited and report directly to the clinic if you feel begin to feel ill in any way. Man, we got a bunch of losers in here today, huh? <laughs> Already have enough of those. Journal entry 65. <laughs> <laughs> I've been asking around. There is no reason for those filters to fail. It must have been sabotaged. There's a rumor going around that one of the blues did it. I wouldn't surprise. I'm guessing that's somebody from the blue sector. It wouldn't surprise me. Whenever I walk by a group of them in the cafeteria, they all start whispering. I bet they're plotting out what to do next. There we go. There's our Vault 19 souvenir. Been trying to collect vault suits from all the vaults in the game. Oh man, Eddie can't carry anymore. Oh no. I expect to be awed by your dizzy mercantile sense, boss. Literally right there at the end. You know, Raul looks like he's ready to play in the XFL, you know? I guess old guys are tough. 
sharper than we look, huh? Log 45. Some of the blues caused some trouble in the clinic today. I bet they were stealing drugs. I've heard the vents coming on late at night. Others have too. And I bet they are using the drugs to poison us, stealing supplies from the clinic and using them to kill us all. 46. No, I know the truth. The commotion at the clinic, it was a trick. The doctor must be giving them the drugs and she must be in on it. She never leaves her office. It must be because of the poison being pumped through the vents. Her office must be the only one that is safe. Is this some kind of... I wonder, bleh, I wonder if it's like a red versus blue halo kind of thing. They're like pumping drugs to the ventilation system to see how people react. All paranoia and stuff. I expect to be awed by your dizzy mercantile sense, boss. I bet Oxhorn could ha answer that question. Oh no. Who has my rebreather? Eddie, you got my rebreather? I need my rebreather. I gotta have it. Where the hell is it? Crap. Where did my rebreather go? Okay, that's red sector. And we had an elevator over there. Another blue sector. Journal 138 and 139. I've been reading the bulletin boards for months now. I believe we have a spy among us. One of the reds pretending to be a blue. They're using the bulletin boards to communicate. I believe they want to see, want me to see it. I've noticed one of the lights flickering past the door in the red's hallway. I believe it to be more morose code. There you go. <laughs> morose code. From what I can tell, it's an SOS. Oh, uh, I wonder if that was intentional or not. If it was, good on them. Alright, let's go back over here to the elevator, I guess. I can find it again. There we go. Activate elevator to Vault 19 living quarters. Oh, hey, Gecko. Oh, my God. Do we have another Veronica on our hands, just indiscriminately throwing explosives? Damn fire. not a bad place to pick up some pick up some extra 
up some extra bottle caps. 25 to 30 just about everywhere. Journal entry number 86. Voices. I can hear them through the vents. They sound like plotting. They sound like hate. The blues never sit with us. They treat us as if we have a sick, have a disease. Maybe we do. This whole vault is sick. I'm sure our victory was purely... There it is. All right. So we got that. We what else did we do? We'll actually be able to keep these. <laughs> uh, I think we I think we did uh, we did some points in unarmed. And is it lockpick or science? Let's put them in science. And let's see, we can do, I think we had a choice of either strong back, pack rat is what is supposed to give you the ability to get a little bit of extra weight. Because when we start honored, honored hearts, wow. Honest hearts. Your uh, carry weight is going to be severely restricted and you're not going to be able to have a companion because you're going to get companions there. But there are some things that you can do. I think it drops it to 75. It's either 70 or 75 is your max carry weight. But with skills and stuff like that, perks you can, or with perks, I guess you can, you can get an increase on that. That's the reason that we were, we're doing this. Uh, infiltrator. Where is the one that I was talking about the other day? Mysterious stranger. Our luck isn't high enough for that. Heavyweight. <laughs> Thought you died. Well, level 34. We're not getting those anytime soon. Sneak 70. It's something like and stay back was the name of it. Action girl will give me more action points. Center of mass. Adamantium skill. You only receive 50% of the damage they normally would. There it is. Stay back. So we have, we have our survival up to 70 or 50. So that should be enough. I'm going to get in and stay back. For brilliant leadership, boss. Thank you. Thank you, Roll. That's it. The hell is that noise? Oh, that doesn't sound good at all. Wow, my Max is still alive. Don't worry, boss. With my cataracts, you only sort of look like a bad guy. <laughs> With my cataracts, you only sort of look like the bad guys. <laughs> Thank you. Holy shit. I've been doing this longer than you, pal.
Thank you. Why is he glowing? Wow. Ash bits. Get him, boss. I mean, if that fits with your schedule. Might want to watch the explosion, boss. Bro, well, there's nothing over there, buddy. One ninety four. How many journal entries are there? My goodness. I think they're in my head. Sometimes I hear thoughts not my own. I think the Reds have done something to the intercom system, rigged it somehow to broadcast into our brains. Oh, six. What does it mean? Why was there a blue star under my bottle cap? Oh my God. <laughs> are the Reds behind this? Is this part of their mind control? They must be making me see things now. Things that shouldn't be there. The star shouldn't be there. Why do I see a star? It won't go away. No matter how long I close my eyes, it won't go away. I want the star to go away. <laughs> After these messages. After these messages <laughs> what do we got? Oh my God, we got the buffet one again. Time to order some lunch. Yeah, yeah, I've got uh, 25 minutes and I'll be eating mine today. I cooked a, I cooked a patty on the George Foreman grill about half an hour before the stream started, so I'll just throw that on some bread and some other condiments and stuff on and be good to go. It takes eight minutes takes eight minutes to cook one. That's just eight minutes. I wasn't willing to spend of my lunch break. So I just cooked it a little bit early. some pretty uh some pretty awesome timing there all right that's the door that we just came through i don't know where i'm supposed to be going i mean that one Fifty-six. I saw the Reds overseer walking around on our floor last night. He looked like he was searching for something, and he was mumbling to himself. Seventy-four. I saw one of the guys in the mess hall pull a bottle cap off a sunset sarsaparilla and then run to his room. 
and knew he was hiding something, so I broke into his room when he was there and saw the bottle cap. It had a blue star underneath it. I think he's been marked for something, but I can't figure out what. All I know is I want that bottle cap. <laughs> this slow descent into paranoid madness. Shout out! Yes, for those of you that don't know, Mr. Livid. He's actually streaming again. Instead of just talking about streaming again. <laughs> He's been streaming again. Got an all new setup and everything. So when you... So when you did your Yu-Gi-Oh cards the other day, I wasn't able to... I was doing a whole bunch of other stuff, so I technically wasn't paying that much attention. Frankly, I don't know that much about Yu-Gi-Oh anyway. My son does, but not me. Did you get any, did you get any good cards? There's more. Is this back where we were? Common room. Oh, nice. Good. It looked like you had almost a full box of, of cards. How many packs? How many packs did you un, 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 unopen? Wow. How many packs did you open? Okay. Um... Overseer's office. I guess we can try and go back there. I don't get it. Yeah, it's the entrance. This crouch walking is hell on my back, boss. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, there's got to be. Yeah, paranoia must be induced through non-violent and non-chemical means in order for the experiment to be considered a success. Well, I would consider it a success. The only access between the vault proper and the reactor level is through the elevator hidden under the desk in this room. Currently, the password to open this passage is Hyacinth. I don't know. I'm I am rather upset that I don't have my rebreather anymore. I mean Eddie was supposed to be carrying it. He's 
got the radiation suit. Well, actually, I'm supposed to be carrying it because... I always have that on me. I don't know where it went. I hope I don't need it. The only thing I can think of is maybe want to put some stuff in uh, um, in storage in Good Spring. Maybe I accidentally put it in there. Well, I mean, I don't know what else to do in here. I'm guessing we have to go down below, but we can't get down below. Terminal's lying to me. No, Veronica, Veronica didn't take it. I took everything that she had. <laughs> Including that power fist. Ah, shit. It was already open. The, um, the power fist that I bought her from the Gunrunners. Oh, no, don't squish me. Let's go back home and clean up a little bit. Let's see if the rebreather is over there. I'm sure if I wanted to, if I wanted it bad enough, I could probably just do a console command or something like that to just give it back to me. Because I don't know where it is. Hey, it's Sunny, guys. Sunny smiles. Prim wimped out and accepted NCR rule. Some people will do anything to feel safe. here guys before I take everything from you I expect to be awed by your dizzy mercantile sense boss so he's got the remnant power armor So this is food and drink. Packs and other drugs. Okay. 
Okay, weapons. Probably don't need that. No, it's only five pounds. I don't use these that much, so let's just not carry them anymore. I don't even know if I'm using this. Yeah, especially since I've got... Damn it! And it goes again, the damn button registering twice. And this is essentially the junk. Crafting stuff, mostly. There is a method to my madness. <laughs> Might not seem like it, but... A place for everything and everything in its place. And no rebreather. So the rebreather is gone. Alright, how are we looking on weight? 76 out of 110. All right, now let's see what time we had. 15 minutes before lunch. Um, this is the side quest that we were gonna. Maybe, maybe while I'm doing my break, I'll look up and see what. Um, because I, I think it. He mentioned something about old people. Maybe. Um, Maybe it has something to do with that. Maybe there's some people he's got to go talk to. Kind of like what we did with Arcade. Travel to West Side and speak with St. James about missing F NCR refugees. We'll probably take the break early. We'll fast travel over there. After we go outside. It'd be a good place to a good place to take it in between. All right, go. All right, yes. Yeah, so we'll go ahead. And I'll go ahead and get a get a hard save here, and we'll go ahead and take our lunch break earlier for those that might be new here. Uh, whenever I stream at least four hours, I will take a break every two hours, and since it is noon here and it is halfway through. It is lunchtime for me, so this one will be 15 minutes, and that reminds me. I did write a little piece of code to look if I pass it a folder to where a bunch of MP3 files are, and I give it a time limit. It will randomly pick from the files in that folder with a two-second gap in between each one. Now, that'll give me some random playlists to do. It doesn't do it live. You know, just spits out the names of the files. So we'll go ahead and do that. This will be the first one of those. It's f actually about 14 minutes. It doesn't try to, you know, continually massage it or anything like that to, you know, get it as close to 15 minutes as you can. It's just very simple. So anyway, you'll recognize some of these tunes. There are four of them, I believe, in here. So let's go take a break. I'll be back and it will continue. Thank you all for being here today. I'll be back. Lunchtime.
Yeah, I think that got cut off a little bit at the end there. <clears throat> All right, we're back. Literally. Literally. <laughs> Just finished eating. All right, what do we got for a question? More talented at singing or acting? Acting, probably, for me. Hey, Bluebird Man, what's going on? Happy Saturday. How are ya? <clears throat> All right, I need to get a shout out for misbehavior. Shout out! Awesome lady, awesome streamer as well. What are you streaming today? Are you, you're still do. Wait a minute. You're still doing Baldur's Gate, but you're finished with Red Dead. I'll make sure I get it straight. <laughs> you can get one for uh Bluebird Man, are you done are you back yet? Another new streamer on the on the list of people to check out. 
check them both out and if you like what you see give them a follow big steel watch factory all right we got to talk to miguel right all right let's take a look at what this quest is yeah it's essentially about missing ncr refugees travel to west side I need some ammo. If the NCR ain't got to worry about Caesar no more, it should worry about improving the lives of regular folks around here. Here to do business? What? My grandfather opened up this <clears> shop. <throat> Took over from him when the fiends killed him. Until next time. I said Miguel, right? Oh, St. James. Shit. I think he's. See, I thought it might be the co op. Oh, this guy. This guy's an asshole. We gotta go through this again? What's it about this time? Some people have gone missing and they were last seen dealing with you. I don't know a thing about no missing refugees from that Aerotech camp. Go cry to somebody else. <laughs> I didn't mention Aerotech. <laughs> yeah, well, I must have heard rumors. And, um... Uh, fuck you! You got nothing on me and Dermot! <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> Loose lips sink ships. Yeah, here you go. Mean son of a bitch. We should have something. No. Hi again. What's a super mutant like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> I wash my bone with Sibi. I have Bogo. Phoebe's a rope. Goodbye. Okay. Oh, I remember coming in here earlier in the playthrough. I look pretty Sarah's got some burns on her face. Oh. Open door to St. James. Oh, 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 incoming! Gelizar, she's back! Hello, 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 welcome raiders! Where the hell is my ice? Thank you, thank you, Jelly. How you doing? Welcome. It's good to see you again. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the igloo. My name is the Iceman Cometh. Welcome to my little corner of the internet. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. You probably hear that from just about everybody. <laughs> but I am. I play all kinds of stuff right now. You can probably see behind me we're playing... Fallout New Vegas, we have essentially finished the NCR quest line. We finished that up on Wednesday. It was Wednesday, right? Um, and now we're just doing some cleanup and maybe a little bit of leveling up so we can get ready to do some of the uh, DLC. Shout out! We're going to be doing um, Honest Hearts first. We're going to be doing that tomorrow, it looks like. Bongos all around! <laughs> Oh, no, 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 that's fine. That's fine. You have to go. I completely understand. You are a few hours ahead of me on the clock. Yeah, for those of you that don't know Jelly, she raided us twice, I think. At least once when we were doing Ellen Wake 2. Um, super, super nice. Super nice lady. Excellent streamer as well. I've seen her do some, obviously, some Ellen Wake. Uh, what was she? What were you doing today? What were you playing today? But I know I also caught her doing some. Uh, I think maybe some cyberpunk. Oh God! What else? Lies of Lies of P. She was doing some Lies of P. As well. 
so yeah do yourself a favor and check her out like i said super 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 nice excellent streamer too all right so let's go in here door to saint james's apartment can i pick it it's not red so i mean it's not like i'm doing anything anybody's gonna get pissed off about i guess I don't know how difficult it is to do the lock picking mini game on a piece with a PC and keyboard, but goodness gracious, it can be a pain with a controller. <clears throat> hey, Splash God, how you doing? Welcome, happy Saturday. Welcome to you as well. Uh oh. Take St. James's teddy bear. Okay, that's a quest item. <laughs> Activate the toilet. This is Eddie. This is my iBot. And this is Raul. Raul is a ghoul. <laughs> um, this is my second playthrough. <clears throat> Splash God, I played it back. In the ruins of Boulder City, but the NCR let them go. That's unusual. That was me. I played it back when it first came out around that time. But hadn't played it since, and it had been so long. I don't actually remember, or didn't actually remember a lot of the details. I remember some of it, but but not a lot. Uh, we, we we're over a hundred hours. Okay, now we got to go back and talk to this guy. We got to go through this again. What's it about this time? Look what I found. What are you doing stealing my stuff? That ain't even mine. I mean, it's mine, but it's private. Give it back. Hell, don't give it back. I don't care. Just found it when we was working salvage and thought I'd save it to give to some kid if one came by. That's it? We got to go through this again? Fuck off. Yeah, see, that's what he said the first time I tried to talk to him. Without the quest being active. Okay, search Dermot's room in the Casa Madrid apartments, okay? We haven't seen Dermot, although... St. James spilled the beans. I gotta follow, I gotta follow, I gotta follow. Mom, Thanks, Splash God, camera. thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very much appreciate it. Okay, so is it gonna be upstairs, maybe? Oh, this is his apartment. But so, yeah, we're going to be doing the, uh, we're going to start the DLCs tomorrow. We're going to start with Honest Hearts. They say those robots on the strip are running around with different. I got nothing you need. If it's ass you're looking for, talk to pretty Sarah. Whoa. <laughs> Excuse me. Why are you wearing a police officer's hat? What do you do around Me here? Me and my partner, St. James, work salvage around West Side. That's all. Well, yeah, why is your partner called St. James? He certainly doesn't act like one. Because it's his name. He may be high strung, but he's all right. Hauls his half a scrap, which is all I need. That's it? Yeah, beat it. Beat it. Beat it. No one wants to be defeated. OK. 
Okay. Oh, duh. Just let your <laughs> just walk right in and take it while he's sleeping. <laughs> oh, let's see. All right. What does it say? Dermot's ledger, new ledger, going to be a little different than the one I kept for hauling scrap. Haha. Uh -huh. But I've always been a strong believer in keeping straight books. Two motor runner, who's dead, by the way. Teen girl, 500 caps. Adult man, 38, no caps. True to his word, paid top money for the girl. Plus, <clears throat> plus bonus for first delivery but paid nothing for girl's father who took a swing at him when untied. Got to keep him more secured. Also kept St. James off the girls as even friends don't want used goods. To motor runner, adult woman, 28, 250 caps, old woman, 25 caps, old man, 25 caps, baby boy, question mark, no caps. Gotta be more careful selecting what we deliver. Runner like the woman, of course, but the baby's worthless except to make sure the woman does as she's told. Her parents, next to worthless, should have killed and left them. On the bright side, Runner says we can start dealing with friends closer by. So no more dragging folks all the way to Vault 3. To Nephi. Nephi's dead too. Teen girl, 400 caps. Teen boy, 150 caps. Child girl, seven question mark, 50 caps. More like it, learned from past and got rid of mom and dad along the way. Tried to get more for the young one, but I said, hey, give her time to sprout. But Nephi wouldn't have it. Kept St. Jane's off the girls so long as he got his damn teddy. He's a sick one, but I guess the work calls for it. To cook, cook. Adult woman, 200 caps. Teen girl, two teen girls, 400 caps apiece. Teen boy, 100 caps. Did not like dealing with this cook, cook. Didn't know he'd pay us or burn us. I guess what they what they do with them once they got them is up to them. Isn't my business, but he didn't even wait for us to turn the corner before he was torching the boy and making the women folk watch. Where is it? <laughs> Executed with impunity. Let's hope to deal with Nephi next time. Well, like I said, Nephi's dead, so not going to be anything to do there. Okay, uh, confront Dermot or St. James with the evidence you found, you've gathered. I mean, both are both guilty. Tell Captain Parker what happened to the missing refugees. You hear there was some kind of shootout at one of them casinos on the street? I said, fuck off. I know what you and your partner have been up to. I got the evidence from your rooms. You're right about that. St. James, got a thief here. Uh -huh. Watch out. Make a move. Oh, he's got a power fist. <laughs> oh, we don't need that. We pick the pocket or pick the lock. All right, so now we got to go back and talk to what's his name, Colonel or whatever, Captain Parker. Yeah, I remember walking by here offline one day when I was exploring and never went in. So I came in here the other day and there's only like two people in here. 
the ghoul here and then Captain Parker. Something I can help you with, stranger. Yeah. Tell me about Keith again. Keith's a two-bit hustler. He runs a gambling operation out of his shack. Ask me, he wins way too often to be playing fair. I suspect he's running hey, drugs, Gina. too. Hey, Gina, happy Saturday. I just can't prove it. Maybe you can find something. Talk to him, poke around his shack, something. Keith. See ya. What about... What, 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 what? Tell Captain Parker who didn't give me a chance to. Have you found out what happened to those Thank missing you. refugees? Yeah. James and Dermot were behind it. They're dead now. <laughs> How do you know? Did you find proof? I found this evidence in their rooms. They attacked when I confronted them. Oh, sick bastards. Can't say I'll shed any tears for them. Here, you've earned this. 275 XP. Complete. I forget who this guy I hear is. A troublesome Legion camp got raised to the ground. That was me. Welcome, sister. How can I help you? What about, uh... I would be happy to, should you require it. You seem to be in fine health I now. Guess, I guess he can't do radiation. Farewell, friend. Farewell. Bert. Meet Raul. Raul, meet Bert. <laughs> I'm so sorry you're... I'm so sorry you're disappointed. Oh, okay, let's see. Um. Okay, so that's done. What the hell is that building over there? I don't remember that. It looks very modern. Port the Ranger Grant. Tread on the bear, 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 bear. Break by the number. Sierra Madre. Mm. Oh my god. I believe this is the this is the one that we do to, to kick off Honest Hearts. It's up north. It's like one of the most northern points on the map right here. You go up here and that's how you initiate it. All right. So, oh, by the way, when I was when I was on my lunch break, I did look up Raul's quest, even though you don't you don't get anything like I did with uh, Arcade to say, oh, hey, quest activated. But you do have to talk to people. Um, one of them is at Nellis. It's kind of odd that they didn't kick off a quest. I believe it said he was in one of the tents. Where, there are no tents here. It's all barracks. Is my karma now is it changed still evil consort of discord there you go loyal sounds this is one of the people we need to talk to 
Oh, great. They're not even here. <sighs> Where would they be? Okay, so it's in the leftmost one in the back. Maybe inside one of the hangars. It might be... He might have been the guy, if I remember right, that was... He's on this side. With the one... Love-struck younger guy. That wanted us to go over to the Crimson Caravan Company and tell a girl over there that he liked her. Worshipped from afar, literally. Yeah, this guy right here. Yeah, see, there's the girl right there, Janet. Just saying. Mr. Loyal. Isn't that bomber a beauty? Thanks so much for making an old man's dreams come true. Later. Okay. Get a conversation from Raul, maybe? I can't believe we were allowed inside the Lucky 38. That place has been a legend since before the war. Interesting. Questions, boss? You mean you don't know everything there is to know already? Afraid not. What's your take on the NCR? <clears throat> All right, I suppose. Had a bit of a tough going there at the beginning. You know their first town was nearly wiped out by raiders. Anyway, they got their good points and their bad. Just like a lot of the old governments from before the war. Other questions? You're a veritable geyser of curiosity, <laughs> boss. How do you feel about Caesar's Legion? I know how I feel about him. I don't really have a problem with him. People around here tend to see them as invading marauders planning to burn and pillage the countryside. But I've been to Arizona, boss. Before the Legion, it was a nasty place. So thick with raiders, you couldn't trade with a town two miles up the road. Caesar's laws aren't you nice, guys and their suck. actions aren't always pretty. But then neither am I. But you keep me around. Anything to hold your attention, boss. Questions, boss? You mean you don't know everything there is? Tell me about New Vegas. It's big, it's bright. And it's one of the biggest cities still left from before the war. Well, mostly anyway. It used to be just a curiosity. The buildings were pre-war. But it's just as full of raiders and barbarian tribes as any place else. Mm, excuse me. Then Mr. House took over. Got the power turned back on. And got the tribes reformed into something. <laughs> <to sit laughs> Mr. House is dead too. You seeing a theme here? People mention other people in the game and I, and I say, well, they're dead. <laughs> they're dead. Dead. How much is he gonna? Sure, I'll just pull a toolbox out. How much is he gonna to charge me? Rock and get to work. <laughs> Very funny. Talk to me at my shack. I've at least got tools there. That's a good thing to see, huh, boss? What are you talking about? That loyal. Guy. Oh, there we go. He's getting up there in years. But he still finds a way to make himself useful to his people. If you ask me, that's better than withering away all alone or holding on to some faded piece of glory from your past. Using his years of knowledge to help his tribe? I think that's a noble goal. At least he knew when to step back and start to take it easy. A lot of people don't. That's true, too. I suppose if you're happy with that kind of life, it's not so bad. Uh-oh, burger time. Double burgers. I didn't have fries with mine, though. Cheetos. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. What's on your mind? Old history, boss. I grew up in a place called Hidalgo Ranch, just outside Mexico City. It wasn't much, just a bit of a farm, with a house for three generations of Tejadas. I wasn't the best-behaved kid. I was quick with my hands. 
with a pistol or a wrench. And I wasn't afraid to get into fights over it. I never killed anybody. But I had my share of run-ins with the police. Mostly my family kept me in line. This was before the war. We were far enough away from Mexico City when the bombs fell that we missed the worst of it. But things got bad quick. Go on. Just a few days after Mexico City was vaporized, refugees started pouring down the road to our ranch. We helped who we could, but there were so many. Eventually, my father started turning people away before we ran out of food. Things got violent. My father and I got our guns, and we drove them off. What happened then? We're going to ignore the Lola response at the bottom. <laughs> About two dozen men came back in the night after we'd gone to sleep. They set fire to the ranch house and barred the doors from the outside. Oh, shit. My whole family was trapped inside. I smelled the smoke. And I got myself and my little sister, Rafaela, out through a window. But everyone else. My parents, my grandmother, my two brothers, and two of my sisters all died. Rafaela and I ran. We were pursued by some of the men who attacked our home. But I was always a good shot. The ones who came after us, I killed. The rest, I left be. I had to take care of Rafaela, not throw my life away on revenge. And you blame yourself for this? Or you can't you can't think it was your fault. No one could stand against a dozen armed men all alone. Anyone stupid enough not to set a watch deserved what they got. Um Maybe. I don't know. All I know is that for all my skills with a pistol, I couldn't help them. Anyway, that was weighing on my mind. Thanks for letting me get it out in the open, boss. Yeah, see, and we still don't get any... Cool, everybody! I'm here. Star! That an outsider has proven we so still don't have it. We still didn't get anything for the quest log, so... You've given us the ability to touch the sky. Touch the sky. Hello, hello, nice happy Saturday. You. How are you? Are you back home? Or are you still up in the rainy? Well, I don't even know if it's rainy this time of year. Um, Pacific Northwest. Uh, the next one is in Novak. It's Ranger Andy. Yeah. We'll be right back. Add topic. What mystery do you wish you knew the answer to? Hmm. Probably whether or not there is actually intelligent life out there. I really want to know. <laughs> Alexander the Great's body buried in the ground. Does that count? Oh, let's see. Let's do a dad joke. While wow, the break is running. Here's a dad joke for you. Did you hear about the kidnapping at school? It's okay. He woke up. Oh my God. <laughs> Jeez. All right. More specific than that. Um, I don't know. All right, we got to go back outside. Fast travel. Fast travel to Novak. Uh, 
Uh, Ranger Andy, his, his, um, oh, aren't you glad you came out today? I think it's the middle one. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 hey, no. Welcome. <laughs> Hold that thought. What's new? <laughs> You're with the NCR, right? Was. Was with them. Was. That was back when my arm Thank you guys for redeeming your points today, by the I way. I still like to pretend I'm a ranger. I love it when you do. I'll check in with the guys up at the station pretty regular on the ham radio. Sometimes they stop by, tell me they're paying their respects, the smug bastards. They haven't been responding to me last couple days. I guess they got tired of hearing me talk, but it still got me a little worried. Hell, listen to me talk like some damn mother hen. About something like else. What? Like what? Tell me about the Rangers. They're the NCR's finest. Mister Iceman, what's up, Greedy? You got a job where even thinking about it would scare a man senseless? That's when you bring in the Rangers. And if you see a squad of veterans, guys who are in their black armor, well, you won't find a more beautiful sight. It is some pretty cool armor. I, I definitely like it. Let's get you a shout out, Mr. Greeny. Mr. Greeny. Shout out. Oh, you beat me to it. Thank you. <laughs> yes, another awesome streamer here on Twitch. We've been playing. We've been playing some uh, Monster Hunter Rise, was it? Um, the other day. God, it seems like. Is it just me or. It just seems like there are like 40,000 Monster Hunter games. There's 40,000 Warhammer games now. It just seems like every five minutes. Another, um, Like a Dragon, Yakuza. It's like every five minutes, it seems like there's another one, another game in any, any of those series that have, has come out. Is it just me? <laughs> there are a lot, it seems. All right, about the Rangers. What do you do here? Right now, back? a whole lot of sitting on my keister and counting cracks in the ceiling. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. On better days, I help keep the peace. Boone and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. Tell myself I'm doing some good. Look out for yourself. Anything to say? Angry soldier robots with bazookas. I'm sure they'll be a good police force. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't. I didn't mean that as, as a negative thing. By the way, about you know those three series, it just seems like there's a lot of those games coming out. That's what I love about you, boss. Your firm belief that one day you'll actually remember things people tell you. What do you want to hear about? Anything you say, boss. So why? Yeah, boss. Just, yeah. What? Questions, boss? So what? This is Ranger Andy here. The last one's at McCarran. Corporal Sterling. Anything to hold your attention, boss. Sure. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, people have been saying stuff like that about, you know, games like Far Cry for years. You know, Far Cry is the exact same game it's always been. All they do is change the location. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> and? Hey, boss. There we go. Can I ask you something? Sure, what's on your mind? What do you think of guys like Ranger Andy? 
What do you mean, guys like Ranger Andy? I mean, guys who have a world of experience doing what they do, but have to give it up because they're getting old and slow or too injured. Even after a crippling injury, a guy like Andy's tougher and more dangerous than most men alive. Or he didn't have to give it up. He's just scared he doesn't have what it takes anymore. Or just because someone's crippled doesn't mean they're useless. All that experience is invaluable. I think it's good that he's retired. Oh, out of sight, out of mind. Um, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I guess you got a point there. <laughs> We're not just talking about Ranger Andy, are we? Not really, boss. No. After the fire, I knew my sister and I couldn't stay at Hidalgo Ranch anymore. The refugees still wanted me dead. They even put a bounty on me. I remember how scared Rafaela was. I told her if she came with me, we'd see the vaqueros. She used to love the rodeo, especially the trick rider. We figured maybe we could find help in Mexico City. We were young. We didn't know what had happened, really. We didn't understand about the bombs. Yeah, wasn't Mexico City basically annihilated in the Great War? I don't think it was as hard hit as D.C. or Bakersfield, but it was bad enough. By the time we got there, the city was a radioactive ruin. Still, the city was full of looters already forming into the beginnings of raider tribes. Crime was bad before the war, but now it was a nightmare. We were living like scavengers, scraping by on what little food we could find, always looking for medicine for my burns. And then, of course, the radiation started to kick in. Turning me into this handsome devil you see before you. <laughs> that sounds pretty bad. You're a poet of understatement, boss. But there were moments it was almost worth it. I still remember finding that novelty costume shop. I was just looking around for something I could slice up to wrap my burns when I saw the vaquero outfit hanging on the rack like it hadn't been touched. I took it, not like anybody else needed it, you know, and wore it back to our camp. Rafaela laughed for the first time since the bombs had fallen. Wasn't it dangerous to be dressed so <laughs> It was. I started to build up a legend. Sometimes it headed off trouble, but most of the times it just started more. Young punks looking to prove themselves would come looking for me, but my eyes were sharp and my guns were quick. For a while, it seemed like we might even survive there until... Until Rafaela. She went out to find some food one day. I was sick, so I stayed at our camp. I guess it must have been the beginning of radiation poison. Anyway, it was supposed to be safe, but some raiders happened to pass through where she was scavenging. I won't speak of what they did to her. When I found her body, the only way to recognize her was this funny little scar on her knee from when she was a little girl. Terrible doesn't begin to cover it, boss. I let my whole family down. First the ranch, now Rafaela. I was the last Tejada. I guess maybe I went a little crazy then. I took my guns and went back to that market. I didn't have many bullets, but I had enough. After the raiders were dead, I salvaged what I could from the store. I was tired. I just wanted to be alone forever. I left Mexico City behind. I made my way out to the Gulf Coast. Eventually, I found an old Petro Chico refinery nobody had claimed. I stayed there for a little while, and I thought a lot about my life. I thought about the guns I'd lived by and what they'd gotten me. I decided my guns hadn't gotten me anything, and it was time to give it up. I took off the old Vaquero outfit and put on a Petro Chico jumpsuit. The name tag said Miguel. So I started using the name myself. Eventually, I made it to Arizona. That's another story, boss. <laughs> It'll be for the guy that we're going to go talk to next, I guess. Corporal Sterling at Camp McCarran. It's a pretty damn sad story, man. <laughs> damn. But a good one. Alright, where the hell is McCarran? There we go. 
They love me here. Hey, wait a minute. Damn Brahmin crap everywhere. Cons are history. It serves them right. The NCR is fortunate to have your support. Thank you. Somebody agrees. Those free side thugs aren't worth our time anymore. Why can't I trade with you? That fiend leader shouldn't have messed with the Okay, so I don't know where this this guy is. Oh, we have to actually go in first. Yeah. <laughs> stock up on ammo in here. Even though I'm on their side and helping them out, still can't help myself to all the ammo that's around here. Silenced 22 pistol on the table there. Spades. It's in a Gorbitz. Got any quests for me, maybe? I heard you killed Driver Nafai. My team would have liked to get a shot at him. But we're still glad he's dead. Tell me about First Recon. We're the finest sniper outfit That's, uh, in the Boone's NCR. outfit. If when he was in the NCR. To a target's eye from 800 yards away, you call us. Some of my team aren't without their share of scars, though, like Betsy and Sterling. What happened to Sterling? Corporal Sterling was an NCR Ranger until uh -oh. he was captured by the Legion. They tortured him pretty badly. He wasn't able to be a Ranger after that, but his eyes are still sharp, so I had him transferred to First Recon. What's wrong with Betsy? Cook Cook, one of the fiends, ambushed her and ten of spades. They both managed to escape, but not before Cook Cook raped her. Ooh. Betsy shrugged it off like it was nothing, but her behavior keeps getting worse. Always making passes at every woman who wanders by. It's inappropriate for anyone in First Recon to behave that way. I could discipline her, but I'd rather she get medical help. I can talk to Betsy about getting medical help for her trauma if you want. I'd appreciate it. As her CEO, I could order her to get help, but I'd have her agree with Oh, it's going idea. great. Going great. We're just doing some, uh, essentially some cleanup stuff. And, um, trying to get leveled up for, we're going to start some of the DLC tomorrow. So I'm trying to get some levels and perks for that. Uh, tell me about First Recon. We're the finest sniper outfit in the whole NCR. You already you need said that. Does the NCR usually offer bounties on people? If they've proven hard to kill, yes. Whatever it takes to get the job done, even if it means hiring help from outside the military. That would be me. Carry on. I don't hurt anyone. I mean, she was literally right here. Where did she go? Hey girl, you need something Hey girl! Me? Have you seen any serious combat here? Not unless you count the fiends as serious. Gorobetz keeps us inside the fence most of the time. Doesn't matter to me, I just shoot bad guys. 
Sooner or later, they'll move us out to the dam, though. That's when the shit gets nasty. What do you mean? Legion fights to win, and they're smart. Hell of a lot smarter than these crazy fiends. But I don't feel bad about shooting Legion boys. Fiends, on the other hand, sometimes I get pangs of conscience. Not often, but sometimes. First I've heard about conscience in a while. Yeah, doesn't sound like me at all, right? But it happens. Some cute little junkie bitch, so fucked up she doesn't even know that she's the bad guy. And I've got a headshot her. Makes me think. Might just be sex, though. I see some cute little number, and I'd rather get in her pants. So maybe I'm a stone-cold bitch after all. <laughs> You're a sniper? What gave me away? The big gun? The shades? Or the attitude? Yes. I didn't notice the attitude until just now. The big gun. Yep. A lot of people make that connection. Big gun. Sniper. Some people don't even need to ask. Yeah, you should get medical help for your trauma. The lieutenant's been talking to you, hasn't he? Look, I don't need a head doctor. I'm first recon, damn it. Speech check. You don't see the others crying about every little bruise and scrape, do you? She almost sounds like Kimberly Brooks, who's um, Ashley Williams' voice actress in Mass Effect. Speech 60. You're a weak link. I know it, you know it, and First Recon knows it. Do something about it. Damn. Never had you pegged for the drill instructor type, but you got my attention. You can tell the lieutenant that I finally caved. I'll... get help. There's a Dr. Usanagi who's supposed to be good at this sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is green. Or gosh. That's why it only runs for two minutes. Yeah. Try not to get killed. It was originally longer than that, but I had to, uh, I had to adjust it down a lot. Then a Gorbit. There we go. Now we're back to normal. What can I do for you? I convinced Corporal Betsy to get help from Dr. Usanagi. I caught the tail end of what she said to her. Betsy looked like she'd been slapped right back in a basic for a few seconds there. Let's hope the Betsy sticks with the treatment. Knowing her, she won't keep seeing Usanagi if she feels things are taking too long. Do me a favor and let Usanagi know Corporal Betsy is coming. I'd like to make sure the medical clinic has time for her. Okay. Carry on. The New Vegas Medical Clinic. Where the hell is this? interesting yeah it you know it, it it's funny how how many quests can be solved just by talking to people and having that 100 speech makes it easy in spots <clears throat> i think i think that was actually the first skill that We got to a hundred. Hello. We got three of them at a hundred. So far. Dr. Usanagi, I presume? Welcome to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. I'm a fully qualified physician and can fix whatever is wrong with you for a reasonable fee. If you've got the caps, I've also got several implants available to enhance your physical attributes. Oh. Corporal Betsy from First Recon will be coming to you for medical treatment. Mental trauma can be just as debilitating as physical injuries. Fortunately, I'm well qualified in such treatment. I'll make time in my schedule. Thank you. 275 points. NCR fame gain, fame gained. What kind of implants do you have available? I have several basic implants available that can enhance your physical abilities, make you faster, smarter, stronger, that sort of thing. 
I've also got two much more expensive implants. One's a subdermal implant that will make you more resistant to damage. The other implant induces a mild regenerative effect. Your wounds will practically heal before your eyes. Can I get both of them? <laughs> I want them both. <laughs> uh, we, I think we do have some radiation poisoning. It'll be easy enough to purge all rads from your system. Yeah, see, it doesn't tell me how much it is. With Dr. Uh, Mitchell, Doc Mitchell, it's 100 caps to cure the radiation. All right, this will only take a few minutes. Okay. I mean, I've got like almost 45,000 caps, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. Um, Show me what you got. Because you're a friend of the followers, I can I give am. you a bit of a discount. Thank you. Buy an implant. One other thing I forgot to mention. Your body may be able to handle only a limited number it's of implants. Cyberpunk 2077. The healthier you are, the more implants I'll be able to give you. Now, what surgery are you considering? I may have to pass on it for now. Yeah, so these are all increasing your uh, your specials. I want to be more intelligent if it were only that easy. Enhance my agility, make me luckier. I'm interested in the subdural thermal. I'd like the regenerating ability. All right. Was there something I'll, else you I'll were look into in? it offline and see. You sell anything here? I have reserved a small part of my supplies for sale. The profits go directly to the purchase of additional supplies to help the less fortunate. Noble. Tell me about the clinic. Everything you see is funded by the followers of the apocalypse. We rely a lot on charity to provide low-cost medical services to the less fortunate. Oh, is this going to be another one of those? Um, was it Julie Fargus? This just looks, looks like the same thing. You can continually, you don't get anything for it. You don't get like XP or anything, but you can continually donate stuff like stim packs and things like that. Are you one of the followers of the apocalypse? Yes, I am. I received my medical training at the Angels Boneyard Medical University back in the NCR. It's not a requirement to be a follower to enter the university, but I believe in what they do. So I joined them. What do the followers believe in? We believe that technology for basic necessities like food, water, and medicine should be shared, not hoarded. Take note, We're Brotherhood of Steel. We're also strongly in favor of proper education. I've come across more than a few doctors whose techniques came out of the back of a magazine. Part of the NCR? We've worked with them in the past. The NCR became too focused on things like patents and profitability, so the followers go their own way now. The NCR and the followers have a cool relationship at the moment. We see them as oppressive, and they view us as anarchists. <laughs> Do the followers have a headquarters around here? Yeah, it should be the old Mormon fort, right? Yes, the Mormon fort in Freeside. It's hard to miss. Talk about All something right. else. Is that it? <laughs> okay, that's it Take for now. Take care. 43,000. Up from all scope. Hello. Uh, we never did find what's his name. We need to go back to McCarran. Corporal Strickland? Bzz. Bzz. 
La Fantoma. Is it me, or has Ten of Spades engaging us? Smartest move they've ever made, you ask me. Hey there, miss. T -t 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 Ten of Spades. First recon sharpshooter at your surface. You all right? Oh, yeah. F fine. Just a little st st stutter. Had it since I was a kid. Doesn't stop me from kicking ass. No, we're not going to do that. I'm sure it doesn't. Damn right. Tennis Spades, where'd you get the name? The LT. Gorobets gave it to me. See, I wanted to be Ace of Spades. But the LT says, sorry, kid, you're t t t too green. So he calls me Ten instead. It's okay, though. I get a few more k k kills under my belt. He'll move me up to Jack. Jack of Spades. Sounds better, right? I keep at it. Eventually, I'll make it to ace. I think I'll skip queen, though. <laughs> How long have you been a sharpshooter? Shit. As long Shit. as I can remember. Had a rifle in my hand since I was three. That's what my dad After always these messages, we'll be right back. After these messages... When you receive a call from an unknown number, would you rather answer the call or let it go to voicemail? I'll let it go to voicemail. Yeah, exactly, Jay. <laughs> exactly. If I don't recognize it, I ain't answering. Well, but the only thing, though, is by picking it up, you've basically given them the information that that number that they called was a legitimate number. At least that's the way I look at it. So I just let it ring. Whether it makes a difference or not, I don't know, but that's just what I do. Let's continue. Learn to shoot on our rant, way west of here. Same as the LT. He's a f f f farm kid too. When did you enlist in the military? Oh, they recruited me, what, a year ago? Taught me to kick even more ass than before. These guys, they really know how to kick some ass. What do you do around here? I shoot kicking people. Ass. Mostly kicking ass. See, we're watching the perimeter right now. Looking for those fiends to come back. When they show their faces, that's when we go to work. One shot, one k k kill. That's the first recon way. Yeah, I'll s s see you around. Okay. Smart move for the kings to back down. They didn't know who they were messing with. Oh, Corporal Strickland, where are you? Sergeant Bitterroot. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's the only bad thing about it. Is it me, or has Brotherhood stopped engaging? Whoa, why do we have an echo? Move they've ever made, you ask me. It's because they're all dead. I killed them all. Howdy. Name's Sterling, first recon. <clears throat> Can't say I've seen you before. I'd remember if I had. You got the porn stash. You remember everyone who passes through here? Got a good memory for faces, landmarks and such, too. Comes with practice, that's all. And a lot of scouting from place to place. Ooh, interesting rifle you have there. Lever action, right? I call her the Long Carabine. Didn't always have the scope. I added that myself. Been shooting with her so long, couldn't bring myself to toss her away. Would have felt guilty to part with the old girl. The other snipers used bolt action, but Gore Betts reckoned it didn't matter none if I was different. So long as I could hit my targets. It's all that matters. Have you always been with First Recon? Used to be a ranger. One of the first they sent out east back before we took the dam. Observation and reconnaissance. We took the lay of the land, checked out the locals, and kept ourselves inconspicuous. A couple friends of mine were the first to scout the dam. That was back in 73, if I recall. A lot of those rangers are dead now. Vegas always chewed men up. It's just a little more literal nowadays. Why did you leave? Well, that wasn't really a matter of choice. Mm. Got myself caught by legionaries up near Malpe. They had themselves some fun with me. Mangled my hands and feet pretty good. Wasn't much good with the pistol after that. Wasn't going to be trekking across the waste on any more long scouts either. How did you escape? Caesar's boys figured I wasn't going anywhere after what they'd done to me. So they didn't bother tying me up. I crawled out of there on my elbows and knees. Must have looked a sight. Then I rolled down an embankment into the Colorado. I guess I had a mind to drown rather than give Caesar's boys the satisfaction of killing me. But a couple rangers happened to be watching from across the river. They jumped on in and pulled me out of there. Lucky break, they said. How long? Going on six months now. But I reckon we'll be moving out soon enough. Can't talk about the details. Till then, we'll man the towers and keep an eye on the fiends. We've had more than our share of trouble from their direction. Whole thing smells of Caesar to me. Of course, that's just guesswork. But I still bet a few caps he's stirring up the locals against us. Always a pleasure. Keep yourself safe. Okay, Raul. Anything to add? Seconds to talk, boss. Absolutely. I don't have time for your useless chatter. Oh my God. Sure, what's on your mind? Meeting Corporal Sterling. Well, you've kind of got me thinking. Here's a guy that's been beat all to hell, right? I mean, he could have retired from the service, but instead he signs back on and does what he can. You think he did the right thing? I think it's good that he's so devoted to his duty. More people should act that way. The NCR has put a lot of time and money into his training. He owes it to them to use it however he can. It might seem harsh, but a soldier can't do his job properly with those limitations. Or, with those injuries, he's nothing but a drain on resources. He should retire. <laughs> oh my god. Um, We've been going with the first one, with pretty much all of them. It's good he's so devoted to his duty. More people should act that way. You think yeah. so, boss? Because I remember a time when a lot of people stuck to their duty no matter what. It ended with nuclear bombs falling on my hometown. Talking about the Great War, what do you remember? I left everything when I left Mexico. My home, my family, my name, even my face. I know it's surprising, boss, but I wasn't always just handsome. As far as the world knows, I was Miguel, and I was okay with that. I headed north for a while and ended up in Tucson. Not Tucson, by the way. Things were good there. Well, maybe not good, but better than Mexico City anyway. I found myself a little shack, started fixing things. Fixing things? 
Oh, sure, boss. I was always good at fixing things. Some I fixed for the town, some I fixed for other people, some I fixed just for the hell of it. It's a better way to use your hands than killing. And even then, I wasn't getting any younger or faster. I lived there for a long time, kept it myself, didn't get into any fights. Hell, the only reason I even kept my guns oiled was professional pride. Why aren't you still there? Getting there, boss. I'd been in Tucson. The locals can call it Tucson all they want, but it's Tucson, damn it. About 75 years when she showed up. Prettiest thing you ever saw, boss. Maybe it was just a trick of my senile brain. But I swear she looked just like my Rafaela. Her name was Claudia. She ended up taking work at one of the brothels in town. I never went to her, of course. How could I? But I looked after her in my own way. What happened with her? This was a long time ago, before Caesar's Legion pacified Arizona and brought the Raider tribes to heel. A tribe came into Tucson one day. More a gang, really. Dirty Dave and his six brothers. They were looking for bullets, and I sold some to them. I figured if I did that, they'd leave town before they tore it up too much. Yeah, but they didn't, did they? No, boss. No, they didn't. As I was saying, I hoped they'd leave the town in peace. Instead, they decided to stop at Claudia's brothel to take the uh -oh. edge off. I don't know which one of them got rowdy first, but by the time I heard the screams, and got my guns, it was too late. They shot up the brothel, killed four girls, and taken Claudia for their sport. Did you rescue her? Tried to? I went after Dave and his brothers. They had a head start, but they slept nights. I didn't. It took me three days to catch up to them. Claudia was dead when I got there. They put a bullet in each of her eyes. I couldn't do anything except the Avenger, just like Rafaela. I charged into the middle of their camp and started firing. Two of them were dead before they knew I was there. The other five, though, they shot the shit out of me. I would have died, I think, if I wasn't so full of rage. How did you survive? By being a meaner old cuss than the rest of them, <laughs> boss. I wanted to keep living until they weren't. So I just kept shooting until they were all dead. I was in pretty bad shape in the end, though. I don't know how long I laid there, with the sun baking me and the buzzers chomping at me. Eventually, I got the strength to start moving. Some long time after that, I managed to drag my carcass back to town. What happened then? When I recovered, more or less anyways, I left Tucson and headed west. I ran into Tabitha at Black Mountain, and well, the rest you know. I swore I was done with the gunslinging life. I was too old, too slow, and too beat up to protect anyone anymore. I thought I was done forever, but after traveling with you, I realized I've always had my doubts. Doubts about what? About whether I still had what it took to carry my pistols proudly, to use them to do what's right. And now that I've been traveling with you for a while, you made me realize that I can still do that. Maybe I'm not as tough as I used to be, but my brains can make up for that. And my hands are still quick enough. <laughs> it's time to put the guns back on. Weapons. Hot. <laughs> I think that's a great idea, Raul. And I hope you'll put them to good use with me. Oh, my goodness. Speech check. I don't think that's a good idea. You should focus on your mechanical skills instead. That's... Wow, that's an interesting set of choices there. You would think the speech check would be the other way around. I, I gotta, I'm not gonna go with the speech check. It's like the first time I've had one and I've not used it. You can bet on that boss. Raul has gained the old Vaquero perk, which increases his rate of fire with revolvers and lever action firearms by 33%. Oh my God. And he's got the outfit too. Nice. <laughs> oh, I love it. 
<laughs> oh, that is awesome. Let's go kick some ass, Raul. <laughs> but there was no, uh, there was never a quest for that. That was, that's just interesting that we never got any of that with him. Wow. A pretty sad story. I'm trying to think if there's anywhere else that we need to go. Range of Morales' corpse, that's old. Deserted shack. Uh, let's go over here and see if we can get some ammo from them. That's probably something I'll do tomorrow morning. Just go around to all... Oh, there's Veronica. She came back here. The you still pissed at me? Messed with our great army. Leave me alone. Yes. <laughs> she is. Sorry. I've still got guns and ammo if you need them. I mean, what you got? Sure, no problem. I think she's got the sniper rifle. Or at least a good one. Oh, damn, she doesn't have shit for her other ammo. Sniper rifle carbon fiber parts decreases weight by five. La Fantoma. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Yes, ma'am. I'll be here a while yet if you need any guns or ammo. I think that's Courtney Taylor also. Uh, let's see. Items. Weapons. Hot. Mods. Sniper rifle. Carbon fiber parts. Reduces weight by five. There we go. That will definitely help in the DLC. At least in, uh, yes, carbon fiber. Yes, you got it. Why are you sitting down? Morning. Sounds like we're running prim now. I'd still rather take my leave at the strip. At least he's gonna, at least he talks to me. All right, let's see, what time is it? 120? Keeping quiet, unless my creaky knees give us away. <laughs> oh my goodness, let's see, where else can we go? I'm trying to remember if there's anything else. Coyote Mines. <laughs> Vilified. Yeah, there's a very nice sniper rifle up here in this nest. The only problem is it's in a container that requires a hundred lockpick to get it out. <sighs> I think my lockpick is only 70, so that is not going to happen. I gotta follow, I gotta follow, I gotta follow. Mom, Mr. Nuka Junkie! Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Happy Saturday. 
How are you? Welcome to the igloo. I hope you are doing well. Let's go down here and see if there's any. Yeah, we're not going to talk to Cass. Cass hates us. So. Actually, I think I might have dismissed her. Actually, she left. Yeah, see, I want that armor. I would like to have that armor. Ranger armor, man. It's cool. She is still there. All right, let's see, is there anybody else in here that's got a name besides the bartender? We'll go over to the other the other building too, just in case. Nelson's back in our hands. I hope we can defend it this time. No, I don't want that. I want... want one of those 50 cal sniper rifles should probably just buy one <clears throat> a little ranger family Good night Appreciate the help. Wish I had more work for you, but nothing else on the radar at the moment. Take care. Cool your heels over in the barracks if you want. Been doing a lot of good work out there, setting an example for the others. I know Ranger Jackson appreciates Thank you. It. Anything I can do to help around here? More than you already have? Might want to ask around, but truth is, you've already helped out a lot in the short time you've been here. All right, then. Just sign here, here, and here. Damn, 4,000 caps. I mean, I've got repair kits. <laughs> Dismissed. I'm not in the military, sir. Hello. Just here to help. on the board that I can think of that we have not been and I know we can go talk to um, what's his name in prim potentially get some ammo and stuff him That's his wife. You yeah. ever seen what? Jonathan, I believe his name is. Johnson. Hey there, youngster. Hey there. Um. Anything for sale? Yeah. I got more ammunition now that the NCR keeps supplies flowing. In. Perfect. On the other hand, I'm paying them NCR taxes, so now you got to as well. 
Oh, let's see. What do we want here? Uh, wow. Five, five, six. Shotgun ammo is what I would really like to get. What about 800? 792? Looks like 794. 84. Let's see. What do we got for ammo? We got some shit that we don't even use. Missiles. 56 missiles. <laughs> Where are you hiding those? Where are you carrying those? That's a rhetorical question, by the way. <laughs> 40 millimeter grenade. Yeah, those that grenade launcher didn't do a whole lot against uh, the legget, did it? It was the drugs, man. The drugs. Balance it out a little bit. Hollow points. 70, 308. Some 308. Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, bye. Certainly. Yeah, bye. Hey there. There are very, it's a very rare occasion where I just go in and just straight buy something. Usually what I try to do is I'll have some stuff on me that I can sell and I try to get the transaction as close to zero as I can essentially just trading trade my junk for your stuff that I need ammo mods stuff like that all right let's grab another save here how much time we got about half an hour trying to think if there's any other places that I have discovered but didn't go in Nopa cave chances map remnants bunker Oh yeah, that's Raul's shack. I'm glad you decided to off one of the most powerful men in the Mojave. Life was getting boring anyway. Really. Let's see what he says. You got the caps. I got the skill. Got the caps, I got the skills. He ain't any cheaper than anybody else. You'd figure you'd get a discount with him since you're traveling with him. Apparently not. All right, I guess we can go over to the thorn. That's about the only thing left that I could think of that we have not done yet. I mean, I've been up here. This is where, if you weren't here earlier, this is where you have to go to kick off Honest Hearts. Basin Creek. I don't remember if I went in there or not. Samson Rock Crushing. Yeah, 
and um where is it novak or no nipton mojave drive and that's where you kick off i forget which one you kick off one of them there and the other one i believe is over here canyon wreckage kick one of them off there all right let's go to the thorn Smells like shit all the time, but at least we're safer than in the wastes. Anybody have a name? The theme leader got what he fucking deserved. After these messages, we'll be right, we'll be right back. back. What do we have? Drive a car or ride public transportation? I can go either, but since it asked me. Would you rather? <clears throat> I would rather drive. By the way, all of the winners from the giveaways from the uh, stream, the uh, stream anniversary stream, all of the winners have gotten their prizes. I had to wait. I had to wait three days um, to get Gina her um, her gift card because she wasn't on my friends list at the time. So I had to add her to my friends list in, list in order to do the gift card and I guess they won't let you gift something to somebody that you literally just friended so you gotta wait three days but everyone else everyone else should have their stuff thank you all again for being there mm, excuse me Red Lucy. I remember Red Lucy. I remember the name. I think she's the one that's actually running it. You're very welcome. Yeah, yours, like I said, but like I said at the time, I was not even aware that Twitch had gift cards at all. So that was, that was a pleasant surprise. Thrones cages. Yep. En, en route, en route, however you pronounce it. It is on its way. Thorns cages. Where is Lucy? I want to talk to Lucy. She's probably down below. I bet NCR troops can't wait to clean the sewers. I would imagine.
That might be her right there. Do, do, do. Remember better spring. There she is, Red Lucy. I'd remember if I had seen you here before. I'm sure of it. What do you want? What is this place? The clamor of our bloodthirsty crowds reaches every corner of the wasteland. But I'll pretend that your ignorance doesn't offend me, stranger. This is the Thorn. Here's where the strong make a name for themselves. And the weak are fed to the jaws of hell. You can bet on the contenders. Or, if you have what it takes, be one of the contenders. Be one of the contenders. Be warned. The Thorn demands respect. Break the rules, or offend me in any way, and I'll gut you open for all to see. Whoa. Tell me more about the Thorn. What do you want to know? <clears throat> what are the rules? The rules are simple. My creatures fight for our pleasure. You can bet on a contender and earn double if you choose the victor. But you can get a bigger share if you risk your skin in the Thorn. Win a fight, and I'll give you a meaty cut of the earnings. I won't tolerate anyone that interferes with the fights. Offend me, and your blood will be the next to spill. Other than that, anything goes. Did you set up custom fights? My creatures are expensive to find, expensive to raise, and expensive to maintain. If your pleasure is to see them bleed at your will, I'll oblige only after my costs are covered, stranger. Those costs will change depending on your choice of fighters. Also, I'll only allow fair fights in the Thorn. I'll help you set up good matches. You pay, you bet, and I bring you the most delightful spectacle on this world. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. Let's go back to my other questions. I'm listening. West side. Ask and you might get an answer. Is it part of Las Ve New Vegas? New Vegas has many faces, stranger. Despite everything, it shall never be whole. When the land hunts you, when fighting for survival is the norm, <clears throat> your neighbors become either saviors or enemies. Westside is a part of New Vegas, just as much as it's a part of the wasteland. In the end, stranger, we need them both to continue making our fate. How do people here manage to survive? Westside attracts all sorts of travelers, including merchants and farmers. They come here to exchange their goods or to seek protection. Our community provides enough food, clothes, weapons, and medicine to encourage trade and to arm our defenses. The Thorn demonstrates beyond anything else that we're self-sufficient. Our desert blood has overcome even the strongest beasts of the wasteland. Okay, tell me again. Westside is a part of New Vegas. Just as much as it's a part of the wasteland. In the end, stranger, we need them both to continue making our fate. I'm listening. Tell me about you. What's on your mind? <laughs> oh, straight to the point, huh? Wow. <laughs> Oh, uh, wow. Um, <laughs> how did you become the master of the thorn? We'll wait for the last one to say that. <laughs> the thorn is my master, not the other way around. <clears throat> I live to make our kin able to transcend their limitations. She'll probably want me to fight like a death our claw or something. Our land is harsh and hostile. Our lives are cheap and fragile. Death is our assured fate, striking when least we expect it. The thorn awakens us to the truth. Here we escape from our bonds and choose the moment of death against the will of destiny. Before that time comes, we have some left to get into it. <laughs> What's your take on affairs, state of affairs of the wasteland? The land does not care about petty squabbles. Ah, uh, no, right? <laughs> I don't care about that either. In the end, the people of New Vegas will continue to live and die here. It matters not who their self-appointed master is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay, okay, I get the picture. All right, fine. There's nothing lesser about what I can do in private. Bold, as it pleases the thorn and me. But it does take more than that to earn my admiration. You speak like a hunter, yet only actions prove one's worth. The thorn requires yeah, a tribute of blood, and so do I. How can I pay tribute to you? <laughs> Think you have what it takes? Hmm. All right. Oh. Prove your worth, and I'll reward your service. The Thorn needs newborn specimens that will one day grow to honor us with their Oh, blood. we have to go get her. Bring me a dozen giant mantises eggs. If you accomplish this, I might gift you with greater tasks in the future. Where can I find these? We've run into plenty of mantises before. You'll find egg-carrying mantises in the wasteland. But a wise hunter nearby ruins of Vault 22. Yeah, that's the one that had like all the green shit growing outside. 22. You've got yourself a deal. So long, stranger. Oh, here you go. Uh, what do we got here? <laughs> oh, sexy girlfriend! <laughs> Some cons got cornered in the ruins of Boulder City, but the NCR let them go. That's unusual. All right. What? You fiend bastages. Say hello to Maria. That ain't bad. Fire one bullet, one nine millimeter round, and get seven shotgun shells in return. I'd say that's a pretty good investment. Ah. Yeah, vault twenty-two. How many did she say she needed? Twenty-two. Boring. Bleed me dry. Oh, it just says she needs eggs. Faster to gather them in a breeding ground like Vault 22. Okay. Fine. We'll come back in here. Sure, boss. The old man will crawl around in the dirt to keep hidden. I wonder if what's her name is still here. Yeah, she is. <laughs> she is still here. Kina or something? Keely. I know we had the, uh, oh God, I forget what they were actually called. Like, I'll just call them the plant people for lack of a better term down here, but I don't remember there being a lot of This is down here. It's 
spore carrier, yeah, one of the carcasses. Actually outside. Is this show for my benefit? Because I'm benefiting. Nope. Nope. There is no benefit to be had for anyone, by anyone. <laughs> You're going to blame Gosh for that one. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. Time for more fight. I know. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Time for more fighting. I know. kind of wonder if maybe bloody mess might cause a little bit too much destruction and <laughs> blowing up everything oh there you go giant mantis female Come on. Egg. I mean, it didn't tell me how many I needed. She said, well, if she said 12, then, then it didn't put it in the quest log. But I guess the, 
I guess the sack. The sack was enough. later. Okay, it must be a nighttime thing. Fine. Wait. I'm sure that there's probably not going to be. This isn't going to be the only thing she's going to want. Welcome back, stranger. Let's talk about the creature eggs you need. Do you have good news for the thorn? I do. Good work, stranger. The thorn will nurture these eggs until their hatchlings are ready to bleed for us. Here's a compensation for your service. I trust that we're in agreement over it. Yeah, 200 is fine. Ooh. I don't need anything in return. Take the egg. Do you want to suck up to her? Runners is sufficient. Take the eggs. I thank you, stranger. The thorn thanks you. Is there anything else I can do? Bring me a dozen rad scorpion <laughs> eggs. I'll see to it I that you're it. rewarded fairly. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the eggs I seek are not easy to find, stranger. Your best chances are in the mountains north of Good Springs and west from Quarry Junction. You've got yourself a deal. So long, stranger. Now, for those of you that didn't see, didn't see when we did the deed with what's her name at Gomorrah on the strip earlier in the playthrough. We're not talking about Mass Effect level cutscenes with this kind of stuff, right? You'll just you'll just hear the moaning and groaning and stuff, and that'll be about it. All right, so yeah, it's time to call it a day. We'll we'll, we'll pick up here tomorrow. We'll finish this stuff with Lucy. See where that goes, and I don't remember. I don't remember what the you know what else she's going to ask us to get. But we'll finish that up, and then we'll go do Honest Hearts. <laughs> Let me grab a save. 287 saves. Out of a thousand, they give you a thousand slots. Not saving a thousand times. A thousand slots to save your games in. I don't know if that's per character. Oh, well, we need to hang around. We need to hang around for a few minutes because I don't want Josh to... I don't want Josh to get shortchanged on his on his retro. So we'll hang around for a few minutes. We'll still be able to finish on time. Do 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 streamer that I follow is on right now. She is playing Witcher 3. 
I don't know if she's cosplaying again today or not. She was uh, the other day. She was cosplaying as Jennifer. Oh, let's see. What? How are we doing on... We shouldn't need any. We got our radiation fixed by what's her name. We, don't, we really haven't done anything where we would pick up any any gear. Wow, I mean, 74 pounds. Okay. All right, thank you, Sarvaxis. I could have probably just hovered over her name, too. No, all it says is weekend, you say? Geralt is a troublemaker. We can go ahead and clean up. Um, let's see. We're doing food and water in this one, right? If we even picked any up. No, 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 no. Wrong mistake. No. Drugs. Doug. <laughs> There's this girl. You take care now. Her name is Red Lucy. I got it bad, Doc. I got it bad. <laughs> All right, let's see what Chet's got for sale. Or should I say Sean Ashmore or <laughs> Iceman? You looking to buy some supplies? <clears throat> yeah. Can do. Can do. 10 mil, 556. Five, I am fast becoming a shotgun person. <laughs> Thanks. Take it easy now. Of course, there's, of course, those perks. Those two shotgun specific perks plus the bloody mess. I love it. All right, now, now we can shut down. All right, <laughs> for real this time. Thank you all very much for being here today. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the follows. <coughs> the chat, the laughter, all of that stuff. And the little ha 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 that we've got. Thank you, Sarvaxis. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Miss B. If you want to join us in the raid. I hope you can, but if you got to go, I completely understand. Copy everything after the colon. And paste it into Nordic Road. Nordic Road's chat. She's super nice. She's a good streamer as well. She's from Norway. Hence the name. She's been a long time friend of the channel. Been very supportive of me and what I do here, even though the time difference, you know, makes it such that she can't be here as often as she might like. But she's super awesome, as you'll see if you come on over with us. Um, so let's see. Tomorrow at 10... We'll finish up the stuff with Red Lucy, which we may or may not have to fight in her arena. I don't remember. So we'll finish up her fetched quests, do all of that romancing type stuff, and then we're going to do Honest Hearts, finally. So thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. Let me hit the button. It should be her. She's the only one that's on right now. Yeah. So copy that. 
Did I get it? Where did it go? Oh, there it is. All right. Oh crap, is it gonna... Oh yeah, she's definitely cosplaying today. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Let's go say hi. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning at 10. Enjoy the rest of your day. I got to go run some errands after I say hi to her. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye-bye, boys. Have fun storming the castle. Thank you, the light. It would take a miracle. Bye-bye. Who turned out the lights?